Welcome back to the channel. This is my dad's computer. He's been having a storage issue for the past few months where the SSD has given a smart error. Its life is low. So I asked if I could replace it you know, months ago and he's like, nah, don't worry about it. But finally, uh, it seems to have gone out because I'm not seeing it in the BIOS. But right now is a good time to install an M.2 drive because he has a capability to do that. So I've got an older drive from my laptop that I'm going to put in my dad's computer and if the SSD happens to get recognized, I'm able to boot from it. I'm going to clone everything from that to this. And if not, then I'm just going to do a fresh install of Windows onto this drive. Let's see if I can succeed. All right, I got that in there finally. <laughs> I should be able to put this in here. And the slot is right there. And now all I need to do is push this down and put the screw into there. Yeah, I dad, the, uh, the drive, it looks like it's finally oh, failed and fried. Fried the drive. And so I'm going to go ahead and install Windows on the M.2. Yeah, it's a couple weeks later now, and my dad's been telling me it's just not really acting right. It's being kind of slow, and it's stuck sometimes. I'm like, oh, I had switched that one out of my laptop because it was causing booting problems. So the drive is 100%. I ordered him an NVMe SSD because this supports 10 gigabit per second. I can do two, one, one two things. I can transfer the data from the M.2 SSD that's in there right now, put it in a 2.5 inch SSD, and then I can transfer the stuff from this SSD over to the other one once I take this M.2 out of here. So I can do one of those two things. I can keep it on this SSD or I can transfer it to the other drive and just have the M.2 slot taken out. I've got an SSD that is 2.5 inch. I'm going to put it in this USB hard drive enclosure. That's what it's called. So I can access data and transfer things from and to a drive I put in there. And there's a cool program called Macrium Reflect. So let's go check it out. Put this 2.5 inch SSD Say the SSD into this enclosure. So, if you search Macrium Reflect, re Reflect, Macrium Reflect on Google or whatever uh, browser, you're at macrium.com. Macrium Reflect, we're going to hover over products and go to Personal Free Edition. And we're going to download for home use, okay? You select that. You don't need to enter an email to download the product. So we're going to click continue and it's going to ask us where we want to save it. So I'm going to save it just in downloads. It's fine. And it's going to download. We're going to open it up. So we're going to go ahead and download. All right. So we can go ahead and close out of that. This popped up and asked me if a user account control UAC. I'm going to press yes to let it uh, go ahead and run. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to press next. But we're still just setting up home. It's fine. Yeah. Don't register it, it's fine. Installed, that's not short. Now we don't really need to worry about that. Unless you know what you're doing, you don't need to worry about having anything else selected. Yeah, finish install. We're gonna wait for this to finish. All right, so now it's finished uh, installing and everything. So we're gonna go ahead and launch the program. All right, so now this window is gonna pop up. And what we're going to do is we're going to find the disk that we want to copy and we're going to kind of click the area, like the name of that disk. What the one I want to copy, this one right here, it's only 128 gigabyte. Well, it says 119, but you know, formatting and windows and everything. So what we're going to do is select that, like click. So if I were to click down here, I would select that disk. So I'm going to click back up here because this is the one we want to clone. So we're going to clone this disk. I'm going to select that. And then we're going to select a disk to clone to. We're going to click that. And I know that it's this external drive, which is 500 gigabytes. So I'm going to select that one. And I'm going to delete, keep clicking delete and make sure that any data on there is saved before you start this cloning process. What you're going to do now is click copy selected partitions. 
and that's going to show you how it's going to look. And I'll show you after this how to add more to that space or that partition because we've got you know, 340 gigabytes left. So what we're going to do now is click next, next, and this is going to show you kind of like what it's doing. So we're going to click finish and you don't have to change any of this. So you can just press OK. And then it's warning you that it's going to delete data on the disk. So click that check mark and continue. And then all you have to do is wait for however long it takes. It says completed in six minutes. It took six minutes to copy 50 gigabytes. All right, so it looks like everything went well. So two things, you can do this outside of the computer and put the drive in and you don't have to worry about turning your computer off or you can put it in your, in your computer. So you have to turn off the computer, put it in, boot up the computer, copy stuff over. But uh, yeah, so now I'm going to open up this computer after I shut this down and put this SSD in and we'll boot up to it, see if it works. All right. I also brought up the M.2 NVMe drive and a couple of SATA cables so I can hook up the SATA 2.5 inch. Two SATA drives, one is a 500 gigabyte. Okay, that's good. And then we've got an M.2 in there. So over here on this side, I want to make sure that it has the option to boot into the 2.5 inch SSD. So I want to see if boot menu. Okay, yes. I'm going to click, click on P2, which is the 500 gigabyte SSD. So click on that and it should boot into Windows. So we're going to make sure that it, it does and that it is running OK. That was, uh, that was pretty fast. <laughs> All right, so now what I'm going to do is turn off the computer, put this drive in there and copy everything to this drive. So turn off the computer, shut down. Okay. And I want to, oh, it's not, no, it's not uh, recognizing the M.2 drive. To extend a partition, what you're going to do is open up your Windows Explorer and then you're going to right click on this PC and click manage. Then the computer management will come up under storage disk management. You're going to click that. So it's going to look like this where it's kind of a black bar above it and says unallocated. What you're going to do is select the partition you want to extend. Generally, it's going to be the the C drive, the one that's healthy, boot, page file, crash down, primary partition, blah, blah, blah. You can select that one, right click, and press extend volume. Then you can click next. You're just going to go through this. Make sure that this is on this side. Click next and finish. And then it'll, that will add it to the previous partition and it should be ready to go.